Hi Pisces, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Pisces, this is going to be behind the scenes on your person, right? This is going to be all about them. Yeah, this is their reading because uh, we're nosy and we are tarot detectives. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. So let's get into it right now. And I hope you guys are all well, right? It's your birthday too. It's your birthday, right? Happy birthday to all the Pisceans, all the creative and, you know, uh, compassionate Pisceans, yeah. So let's see what we have, because that's what you guys are uh, at the very heart, right? Uh, and at the bottom of this deck is the truth card. Uh, maybe they are telling the truth, right? They could be. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have. Show me the energy for Pisces person. For Pisces person, please. And we have the clarity card. So they have some clarity here about their life. Mm -hmm. Maybe it has to do with telling the truth or something like that. Is it connected to some truth, right? And let's see what else we have for Pisces person. We have understanding. So they have a full understanding here. Your person is super clear on something. I feel like that's what that's about. So let's continue with these oracle cards and see what we can kind of really uncover about them. Let's see what we have for Pisces person, or about Pisces person, right? Yeah. Let's see what we have. And we have this card, and this is Caring Connections. All right. Uh, your person has some type of caring connection. Maybe it's with you, right? So let's see. And let's see what else we can glean here. Show me another, another card for Pisces person. This is like the Two of Cups. Yeah, it is, pretty much. And let's see what else we have. Caring connections, and then we have the action card. Somebody's take your person's taking action in a situation. Maybe it's to go after this caring connections. I feel like they they have full clarity that they want this. I feel like they do, and a full understanding. Maybe they didn't have the clarity in the past. Maybe this is about you. Maybe they're com coming after you, right? Yeah, they are. Maybe maybe you just met them, and they are thinking this is a caring connection. Show me the energy for Pisces person, please. And we have. Listen in stillness and you meet your true self. All right. So your person before, they, they you know, they they have complete self-awareness. They didn't have any before. I feel like they didn't know what they wanted on some level. Yeah. Okay. And now they have major clarity here. And they're taking action. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what we have. Let's look at their energy. Let's look at the heart of the matter for Pisces person. And we have the death card. OMG. This looks like uh, Aries, Aries persons too. And a different deck, though, and the challenge uh, for them, or the influencing, the influencing um, kind of uh, energy here is the Seven of Cups. Energies that are coming into play for them is the Two of Cups, and yeah, remember I said it's like this Caring Connections card. And their highest expectations is the King of Pentacles. They probably are an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Energies that are leaving them is the Ace of Swords. I feel like your person has clarity, and they were trying to get their clarity for a while now. That's why the Ace of Swords is leaving their wayside, because now they have clarity, right? And in the past, they were kind of, you know, they were trying to become, like, just sit by themselves and figure out what they kind of really wanted, or uh, maybe who they're supposed to be with, or why they're on this planet, something like that. Listen in stillness to meet your true self. And energies that are coming soon is the Hangman. And this is you, Pisces, right, for sure. And energies, uh, how other people could be affecting them is the world card. So, okay. All right. And how they are affecting other people is going to be the Ten of Wands. So they're putting a burden on you. Yeah, they are. They have, they're putting a burden on you or somebody else. It's right next to the hangman, Pisces. I feel like they're putting a burden on you. And their hopes and fears is going to be the Knight of Cups. Okay. So that could be you or just a love offer. So let's get into this uh, to kind of find out. Yeah, let's find out for a Pisces person. And they look like they're an earth sign so far. That's all we have here so far. Or Scorpio, maybe. And let's see, though. Let's, look, let's see why the heart of the matter is the death card. I feel like your person made a really hard choice here. I'm saying that because they have clarity, understanding, yeah, to take action right here, right? They're showing the horses running, and uh, I feel like they're making a decision to end end something with somebody. I feel like it was a really hard decision. They couldn't get their clarity. Yeah. Why is that death card there? 
The Eight of Wands is for change. So if your person, uh, if you're not with them, they're coming for you, or if you are with them, they're leaving. It's either one, because they, they have the world card too. This is how people are affecting them. This is uh, an ending. Other people are affecting them, an ending in a new beginning. And then they have the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Wands. I feel like they're choosing a Queen of Wands. Yes, I do. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Or they are one. This looks like third party all the way now, right? The King of Pentacles here, the Queen of Wands here, and here you are, Pisces, the, the, high, the Hangman. So let's see here uh, their energy. Show me why the Two of Cups is coming into play. And we have the Queen of Swords. This could be... Uh, this could be your energy. You could be asking them, are you like, are you in love with somebody here? Are you, are you like, are you going to be with somebody here? Possibly. Are you leaving me for somebody? That could be the energy in this reading. Death card, eight of wands. The strength card. I feel like it's you. Like you're asking them, you could be busting their chops, but you could be maybe just uh, quietly discerning the situation, right? The Queen of Swords can be inward. She's not like the king who kind of, you know, uh, but she can speak out. Yeah, she can be verbal. It could be either one. I feel like you're trying to have courage here about them and somebody else. I feel like you you probably have clarity. I feel like you have clarity too. Let's look at the energies that are leaving them. Ace of Swords. And the Lover's card. And the Two of Wands. Yeah, they have major clarity here in their choice of what they're doing. Major clarity. Mm-hmm. That Ace of Swords, the Lovers, and the Two of Wands. Yeah, and the energies that are coming soon to them is the Hangman. Here you are, Pisces. This is uh, energy coming soon. Whoops. And it's showing up here with the Seven of Wands reversed. You could be giving up on them. Mm -hmm. I feel like coming, energy is coming into play. You're having courage here and you're kind of discerning this. You might even be outwardly asking them, but I feel like you're having your courage here. Mm -hmm. This could be them too. And the Two of Swords as well. I feel like what this energy is, is that, uh, I feel like this is, I feel like this could be you feeling really stuck here. Having courage about the situation. I feel like the energies that are coming soon for them is the Hangman and the Seven of Wands reversed. I feel like you're giving up on them. You guys could be maybe giving up on each other um, because of this other person. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, this is a Wounded Warrior. What's going to happen next? I feel like this is your energy. Like, you're kind of concerned, what you know, like, worried. Like, what's going to happen next? Are they going to give up on me? Are they going to no longer protect the situation? These are both kind of those energies, yeah. Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands. Okay, how other people are affecting them is the World card and the Eight of Swords. Maybe this is how you're affecting them. Eight of Swords. Like, they feel really stuck. You could be making them feel that way, right? You could. Especially if you're in the Queen of Swords energy, Pisces. Why is that? Uh, sometimes she can, uh, like, bust somebody's balls, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And this uh, Eight of Swords there is, let's see. It's not a nice expression, right? <laughs> and the uh, Nine of Swords. Yeah, this is how other people are affecting them. Mm -hmm. They feel really stuck about this situation. Mm -hmm. And they're worried. They have the Eight and the Nine of Swords. Stuck, kind of fear what's going to happen next. Now they have this major worry here. Anxiety even, possibly. About an Empress. Right here. And how they're affecting them, how uh, they are affecting other people is the Ten of Wands. This is how they're affecting you. They're putting a heavy burden on you. And I was saying that earlier. They're putting a heavy burden on you because they have the Ace of Pentacles coming with somebody. This caring connections person that they want. Right? Yeah, that's it. And if this reading is switched, if this is, you know, you doing this, Pisces, well, good. All right, then, you know. 
right? So let's see what else we have. The Nine of Cups reversed. This is how they are affecting other people. I feel like this is how they're affecting you, right? Like, like you know, this is a big burden for them because they have this wish over here. And their hopes and fears, Pisces, is the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the High Priestess. Mm -hmm. Wow, this could be saying they're, they're hoping you're not going to try to stop them, possibly. Or fearing, right? I feel like they are. I feel like they're fearing you're going to try to stop them on some level. Look at that. This is They're hoping for this Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Swords is like coming after him with a sword, wielding the sword really high. And here you are, the High Priestess. I feel like they're fearing you're going to try to stop this. Maybe they think you're going to, like, follow them and, you know, be mean to them. <laughs> they could, okay, right? Because, I mean, if you're upset here, you know, you could be married to this person. Who knows? You could have a family with them or, you know, that's not showing up. But that doesn't matter. You just could be, like, you could have a lot of reason to be, you know, furious, possibly. Get one more card on their hopes and fears. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like that's it. They think you're gonna try to stop this, or you're gonna like you're gonna, you know, be really angry, possibly. The Knight of Swords is really angry uh, in this deck for sure. Why is the Seven of Pentacles there? And the Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. They could be fearing that you're going to try to like, like, like involve yourself with this other person and that that other person will walk away. Wow. You could be tough, Pisces. So we're going to find out uh, their hopes and fears, right? I mean, their outcome. And we're going to see how they feel about you. And also, we're going to look at the underlying energies between you guys. And uh, mm -hmm. we're going to see what is challenging your person. Yeah, what they're hiding, their fears, and their future. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.